Hello everyone, uh, Anadelas. Hope you are all fine during this hard time. Remember to wash your hands all the time. Sanitize. Oh, okay, sanitize. And practice social distancing. This is the way we all have to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Because of this COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we have decided to keep you busy with class work through YouTube. We believe parents, guardians are going to cooperate with us for the benefit of our learners. Make sure the work given to the learners should be done by the end of the day. Another week. Thank you. Hello, class, grade six class. Your teacher Brown. I'm here uh, just to continue with our maths lesson, the one that we uh, we left, we, that we did not finish on the day that we left. Uh, we are going to continue with the topic adding common fractions. Um, I want you to remember this. Uh, when we are adding common fractions, the first uh, you find the lowest common multiple of the denominators, then you change to equivalent fractions using the common multiple as the denominator. Then when the denominators of all the fractions are the same, that means equal to the common multiple, you add the numerators. Then you simplify the answer where possible. Right, I'm going to use the method that is in the book. Uh, last time I gave you a method that was shorter than this one that is in the book. Uh, I'm going to use this one in the book. Why? Because maybe you might, you might need um, the help at home, you just refer to the textbook. So I'm going to, to demonstrate here on the chalkboard how we are going to do it. So when we are adding uh, fractions with the same denominator, uh, which means we, we just add the numerators. Remember, I, I think I told you this. For example, we are given something like uh, 2 over 7 plus uh, 3 over 7, which means that we are in here, this fraction is already uh, an equivalent fraction, so which means we are adding the numerators. So we say 2 plus 3, which is 5, our denominator is 7. So the answer is 5 over 7. Right. This it's simple. If the denominators are the same, you just add the numerators. Right. Um, the problem comes when the, the denominators are different. For example, you are given um, 3 over 5 plus 1 third. Right, this one now. Before you do this, you find the lowest common multiple of 5 and 3. The lowest common multiple of 5 and 3, which is 15. Right? So you do this. I want you to use the method that is in the textbook. Let's use that, the one that is in the textbook. You just refer to the textbook. Right here, we are saying our common multiple is 15. So we want to change the denominators, these ones, to 15. Right, let's start with this one. The first fraction, that is 3 over 5. Right, we said our lowest common multiple is 15. So we want to change this denominator to 15. That means we are going to multiply 5 by 3. For you to get 3, you can just do this. You divide the lowest the low common uh, multiple by this denominator 5. And you get 3. So you multiply the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3. So the answer is 9 over 15. Right, take this one now. One third. Do this here so that you won't remember. One third. Right, we want to change also this denominator to 15. 
and you just divide our lowest common multiple by this denominator 3 and the answer is 5. So which means you are multiplying the numerator by 5 and the denominator by 5. So the answer is 5 over 15. Therefore, you take this, let me write this, 9 over 15. So now we are having the same denominators and it's now easy for us to add. So now we are saying 9 plus 5, which is 14. So our answer is 14 over 15. Okay, let me give you another example. First of all, uh, you find the lowest common multiple of 3 and 2, which is 6. So, the lowest common multiple of 3 and 2 is 6. So, uh, first of all, we deal with the, the first fraction, 2 thirds, and we want to make, to change the denominator to 6 to make them equivalent fractions. That means we are multiplying this fraction by 2. We are dividing uh, the lowest common multiple by this denominator. Then we get 2. Then we multiply that 2 by the numerator and by the denominator. And now it becomes 4 over 6. Then we take this one, this other fraction, 1 half, right? We want to, we want to change this denominator to 6. And we said our lowest common multiple is 6. So we are dividing this denominator, this common multiple by this denominator, and we will get 3. So we are multiplying 3 by the numerator and 3 by the denominator and the answer is 3 over 6. Now, we are taking this and this. Here, we are having 4 over 6 plus 3 over 6. And the answer is 7 over 6. Right, so we get 7 over 6. When the answer is like this, we cannot leave it like this. We simplify it. We call this an improper fraction. We simplify it to a mixed number. Right, what we do is we divide the numerator by the denominator. Right. Here, so we are saying 6 into 7 will get 1. Remainder, 1 over 6 the denominator. And this is the answer. Right, there is an exercise on page 20. Uh, I want you to do number 1, A, B, C, D. Number 2, A, up to J. Then on page 21, there is number 3. 4 and 5.